Hey team, it's your dude, your boy, Big Papa Wolf. Sitting here in truck stop. And I was, you know, I'm just thinking. I'm waiting for my clock thing to pop up with the computer screen. I was just thinking though, how annoying being essential really is. I mean, there are people out there right now driving the fuck around. Well, I mean, right now they might be just going to work. But later on in the day, they just, there's old people up in a few hours just, oh, we're old. We got nothing to do. Let's drive around. Even though we were told, oh, my hair's all messed up. We were told to uh, stay home. Just fucking stay home. Is it that hard? No. You sit there and go, oh, we're supposed to stay home because there's a virus out killing people like us because we old. Stay home, old people. You can't drive anyways. What are you doing? Jeez. Oh, there it is. Man, I don't even want to work anymore. Traffic's ridiculous. This job's ridiculous. Like, oh, thank you. We appreciate you. Hey, you know what we're doing to help drivers out? We're going to give them a uh, some gloves and what's it called? Uh, I just forgot what it was called. Hand sanitizer. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. This is the hand sanitizer they gave us. They just gave us to it last week. This shit's been going on for nearly what two months now. And they're now giving it to us. Like, come on. It. Anyway, our truck stops hold up signs. Oh, thank you, drivers, for keeping us going. Well, honestly, we wouldn't be able to do anything if truck stops weren't open. You know what I mean? Like, if fuel, st if fuel places weren't open, we'd do one or two loads, and boom, no more fuel. Oh, come on, thing, your load. I can't stand. I can't stand people anymore. Like I. Yeah, I was working on my anger as a person, work myself as a person, and lately, it's been too much. Uh, this truck I drive, we used to be able to press the gas pedal, and like, and help us keep going, whatever. But now we press the gas pedal, it slows us down, because people were abusing the power of it. Well, thanks, Nancy, for not using it the correct way. So now, you know, you might as well, we only can go like 62 miles per hour. And people get mad at us when we're trying to pass other people going slower than us. Come on, all right? The speed limit, the speed limit is usually, oh no, it's like 75, state route 75, any state routes, or highway or whatever, I don't know. Interstate? I can't remember, what, there's a difference between those two. I don't care. Anyways, minimum speed limit, it's like 55. I mean, it should be more than that. But minimum speed limit anywhere is 55, all right? You're going to go 55, get in the far right lane. That's what that lane's for. You're not supposed to sit in the middle lane or in the far left lane. You still stay in the raw right lane. I can only go so fast. If I'm passing someone on the left, and then you pass me, how can me flip me off? Because I'm trying to pass someone. Because I got to pass them a good seven seconds before... I get close to them because once I get close enough to see what how the speed is, my truck slows down. I got this stupid thing on here and it goes beep, 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 and it slows me down all by itself. And I was like, okay, cool. Now I get to go slower. But no, I get to go get over, be a jackass, let everyone else sees, and you know, just move out of the way. In all honesty, Maybe slower traffic should be in the far left lane. You know what I mean? Because half the time, people are speeding around you to get to that freaking exit that's two feet away. Well, obviously, it's like 100 yards away. You're like, wow, I got you make it. And they cut you off, and then you're going to cause an accident. Just tired of it. Every single freaking bit. I don't know where I'm going today. It said somewhere in Ohio, but that's probably going to change. Probably going to go over here. Oh, oh, there's another thing. They're freaking... Oh, you can't go home. Even though you have time, I don't want you... You can't go home during a week. 
if you have, you know if you have time on your clock to make it home and you make it back to the DC and drop stuff off I, I don't want you to you gotta go sleep in your truck I mean I don't get sleep anyways but I mean, come on I don't I don't know what to do anymore half the time who was it good morning team Something need to be completed. It's just a waste of time. I don't know anymore, man. This essential shit isn't. I mean, you know, I'm glad I still got a job. I, I mean, this is the only guaranteed job. Always. Like, driving. I hate driving. I fucking. I hate it with a passion. If you love driving, you can have this job. Go for it, you know? But I'm good at it. I just don't like driving. Driving is not my passion. Like, I just... My dad loved it. I think his dad might have liked it, too. Maybe his dad liked it, too. I don't know how far back it went. But I... Oh, I just like it so much. Like, I'm a loner, but I'm not a truck driver. I, I'm a professional driver. I, if, I, if I could drive, I'd drive for NASCAR. You know? That'd be... I mean, going around in circles would be kind of boring. But... Just tapping people in the butt. <laughs> you just get tired of it. Just wreck your car. Yeah. You try to wreck a semi. It goes on your record for life. And it makes it look like a dumbass. It's another thing, too. They're giving away CDLs because they're tr- no one wants to be a truck driver. And people do want to be truck drivers. Can't drive. I almost got ran off the road by some dude. Yesterday morning on my way to work, and I was in my semi. Another semi almost ran me off the road. How do you not see a big white semi? Like he only just his mirrors just got past me. He started coming over. I'm like, what are you doing? So I honked the horn, like this little horn, and he still kept coming over. So I blared on the big horn. I was like, oh, it's louder than that. But you know, I was like, choo choo choo, whoop whoop. Well, wow, and he still came over. I'm sitting there riding the shoulder. Well, he's just taking off. I'm like, really? So I had, I actually had a buddy. I had a buddy that worked for that company. So I, I texted him like, hey, dude, one of your buddies just ran, almost ran me off the road. Luckily, there's a big shoulder. He's like, oh, what color truck was it? Where was he at? And I told him where. So he might have got to take care of it. I don't know. Hopefully. Uh, my time's almost up, though, guys. I got to go to work. Uh, I don't want to. No. Wait a minute. So here, eat my trucker food. I try to stay as healthy as possible, so I stick with A's and all that, but it's so hard out here. I even pack my own food, but that's not, like, I get, when I have food available, I'm hungry. So when I don't have food available, I'm okay. Or, or is it the opposite? But yeah, when I have food available, I'm usually like, okay, I can, I can wait. But like when I don't have it, I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, I wish I had this. I could eat that right now. I'm pretty hungry. So I got me some Slim Jims. But, Mad Door Slim Jims. Great stuff. I'm not even kidding. This, this is way better than the regular Slim Jim. Um... They used to have bigger ones. I can't. I can't find those anymore. But I'm sure they're out there. But I can't find them. Anyways, thank you for letting me rant, guys. Uh, I might rant some more later. I don't know yet. Uh, catch you all later on the flip side. Big pop whoop. Oh.